play around scenario. I am working for Samsung. Actually, I don't work for Samsung. I take it back. I am working for uh, for the per for the company that does the battery component for the Galaxy Note Seven. And uh, have to. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and you know, and there was an excursion that caused a huge issue, and I need to go to Samsung to talk about the component. It's not going to be in front of a very unhappy crowd. Very unhappy crowd. So, okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. I am Alan. I work for the EDC battery uh, factory that you've ordered your battery components from. I'd like to first emphasize that uh, as a, a company, uh, as the lead of the product team, we're committed to making the best in class component in terms of reliability and performance. And you know, as we can see, we've had a lot of history working together uh, in terms of working on our battery, uh, in, into supplying you the best battery components, uh, superior, superior components. But uh, you know, like all best laid plans of mice and men, um, we encountered a small excursion, and um, we, you received a huge in your shipment. This, this uh, it was affected by this excursion, and. Um, and we apologize on um, behalf of my company. Deeply apologize for that, and we don't hope that you don't put this in your product yet. Um, but we have already a really strong contingency contingency plan ready. First of all, we would like to recall all the components that you received, and we're going to give you a new shipment immediately. Um, that will be that will not have this excursion issue. And also during this interruption, we have already identif uh, identified the root cause of this excursion, and we applied the right. Corrective actions and preventive actions to make sure it doesn't happen again. Um, even if this type of similar excursion happened, don't worry. Uh, right now, we've all tight uh, because of this issue. We, the lesson that we learned is we had to extremely uh, tighten our screening a lot, uh, a lot more to prevent you know similar excursions from, uh, uh, ending up in our product and escaping from our factory. Uh, but uh, you know, from from the from the as again, I apologize again. Uh, on behalf of my company, and I hope that this ha will happen again. Uh, thank you. Well, I'm going to give a comment. What do you think today we are customers? All I'm going to present is what do you think? Don't Being time honest, time. I tell you, I will be very upset. Don't have I will be very, very upset. Are you telling me this is a small issue? My phone just exploded. Uh, oh, the reason is you, since you work CK, so I'm going to be a little bit more critical. I'll jump behind, I will be very upset. What, what are you talking about? And you apologize twice. Okay. Uh, I would do a little bit different. I would come in with the say, you, know, you want to apologize, you apologize in the beginning, say, we do cause a problem for you. And we do understand about what the issue we create to you to your quality, maybe in overall your business. Okay, then after this one, you're talking about, but you also have confidence on us because we've been in partnership for the last five, 10 years. And we are fixed that. Right? The point is with the customer, do not think about small things. For him, it's a small thing, is a big thing, right? So if you really think that's causing a problem, like if you use a Simpson example, or you better come in and say, you know, I do a problem. But build on what the relationship, the trust, the partnership you built in the last few years, reinforce on that. Then you go to what are you going to do about that? Right? Because you really want to tell them, say, you know, we have a problem on this one, but I know you trust us, and we have the action to cause this one. The reason I say this one is that uh, uh, you know, I did uh, when I was in Stanford doing the advanced leadership training. They have used a certain example. I don't have you see the video which was from the uh, BP. BP, you know, they have this uh, oil. Yeah. You, you, you should go to read that they are their CEO in the video. And he was, after this, he was fired. He was basically saying, ah, oh, you know, everything is okay. <laughs> The guy saying that people die, All right? Uh, but again, you know, the, the, certainly there's no certain formula. But in the customer, you have to go to 
assess this one. If this is real issue, you better do very quick. But then start to build a lot of because they 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 know that they know that. Otherwise, you get into this small issue and that uh, it's gonna be. To be honest, I, I think if you make this one, they probably don't wait until you finish it. They will say, "What do you mean small issue?" I mean, well, if they, if you know, if, well, if, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if, if, right, they stop. Today they just stop. Uh, you cannot use the carry the phone. <laughs> no, it's not no, it's good. I think I say it's a big issue. It's good. It, it, that, you know, it, it's good. And don't, don't, please don't, you know, this kind of thing, since we are almost like friends and all this, and we should be critical to discuss about No, 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 Steve, come here. I said, what? No, I can share this story. Was so, let me, okay, let me share you the story. It was interesting. So, actually, at that time, I was a uh, product manager. And uh, I worked at CK Magnetic. Oh, this case was very bad. Right. But we said to our own division. And I was young. I was very young. I was, you know. And so all VP say, uh, Steve, why don't you go there to, to make a presentation to them, to tell the customer, right? So I said, okay, good. And, uh, and I said, okay, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, what is the name? But yeah, I think it's Bob. And I said, what the message you going to deliver? It's basically telling them, okay, we are all what they call integrated company. They have to go to use our media. Basically a message like that. So I went there. And I did not even present that. That was present very nice. Right? I would present and say, uh, you know, we have this media. And uh, I said, you know, I understand our performance is not as good as our competitor. But we are about $1,000 cheaper. You know what? After I finish the presentation, you know what I say? The guy actually stand up. And then he says, your name Steve? I said, yeah, Steve Wang. Okay. He said, do you know, do you know this drive? Do you know how much money it costs to make this drive? Or how we say the customer? In that time, it was a big drive. It was like 10 discs. I have no idea. I said, $500? $500? I said, $2,000. $2,000 drive. And they said, do you think I care? Every media you give to me is $1 cheaper? By the way, your media does not work. So after the finish of the meeting, <coughs> You know, I went out, I called my VP, I said, hey, uh, oh, Charles, Charles Paul. I said, Charles, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> and they said, what do you tell them? I tell them, I said, all media is no good, but it's cheaper. And they, he said, what do they say? They said, they don't care, you know. But it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. And, and uh, from there, I, I, I start to understand, man, for them, it's a big deal. Uh, you better, you know, but, but it's just, uh, share with you, yes. What, what will you do differently if you know? <coughs> Right. What I do different actually, I will continue to do the new product development for this division, and I become director. So I will lay out was very clear. So some presentation I make. But I will say, hey, I will, I know this. Our technology is not as good as our competitor. I know today if you have a choice, you were willing to buy actually in that show on media. You were going to buy show on media. Okay. Then I say, I need your help. I need your help to qualify our media, and I will work with you. I will lay out the plan, and I will lay out when we will be better in our competition. And I then, in the end, I say, it's good for CK, because we are a vertical in integrated company. And it's all for because we are not competitive. So we went through this one, take about five years, then we kick out this uh, internal supplier. Right. So it depends on how you do it. Depends on how you do it. And they, they certainly, they, because even if your media, your products are not good, if you can go to FIGA, always there's some good point in there. For us, it's because we, we were cheaper. Indeed, we were cheaper. If they buy outside, they, they're going to be more expensive. The only problem is our quality performance is really not that good. 
So we walk through this, and we may walk through this, which product we start. So we start with the product a little bit, low performance, and go through that. So it took about five years. But the same group, conversation become much easier. Good. So who's going to be next so, one? Uh, I have a question, sure. I, and I can be the next one. So if you are an engineer and you know the problems maybe uh, your company is for, uh, create a problem to the customer, but then you probably want to go to the legal department or sales yeah, guy Yeah, you engineer, you don't do anything. <laughs> Indeed, you just keep quiet, right? I mean, last week we were talking about you have R&D team, engineer team, your marketing team. And the important thing is uh, what the message you want to deliver. This and should be the, the business developer or, or well, sales guy. Whoever the lead, depends on how big of this, right? The one you were talking about, probably the CEO need to go make a presentation. Yeah. Right. So it depends on how big of that. So a lot of this kind of thing, and then, you know, we work on product, and oh no, no. So somebody got to determine about the message, determine about what position we're going to take. So you engineer, you don't want, oh, I want to be honest. <laughs> it's all our problem. Well, then, then you probably be fine. <laughs> all right. So, so again, it's not easy, especially to deal with a customer. And usually, but you know, it's, it's really to the lead and the law and responsibility. Everybody can go pray to that. And then, you know, usually what I do, we will discuss internally, and then Paul and Khan, and then they tell me what the message. When we are internally discuss, I will listen to everybody say. But when we decide this message, nobody will say different. When we go outside the room. Because what happened is, uh, customer they are very smart. I will be saying, hey, Simon, is that real? What is that? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Our VP ask us, don't say it. <laughs> Actually, it's all our problem. <laughs> right? Or, oh, you know, if you say something, and they call the other, hey, Ishin, really? I think you, uh, do you know what I mean? They do, they do that, they, they do this one too. So this, because this one, the customer also try to, is, it go back to teamwork, how, how you communicate. Uh, one thing actually I personally care a lot is, uh, and everybody in CK work for me, they know, if debate, whatever thing you want to talk about, we think it's good, it's just, <laughs> when we go outside, when we decide a message, you will just say like that. And then we come back, because I don't want to be so bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, have you seen, you know, sometimes go to customer, yeah. And the marketing say this one, engineer say this one, operation say this, customers just lay out, oh, good, go to fight each other. <laughs> yeah, see, right? It's all oh, too, too, too expensive, you know what I mean? So, so, so it also depends on, so if you think about communication, it should become very complicated. Very complicated. A lot of time I can go to look at the people visit us from a different, some company, different division, see how they communicate. What do they say? You will know how good they are as a team, how good they are communication or something. So, yeah. So, you know, based on your responses, one thing is it's very critical to watch the words. So, even one, you can make like a 15 minute presentation, but if you say one thing that's like one trigger word, like, like the word small, like it's, it's a small thing, then everybody's not gonna, it's gonna come back, come back to you. I don't know about what I mean, the small thing. But I think if you are the one going to make a presentation in three, five minutes, you have to know what the message you want to deliver. Mm -hmm. Rest of it is not this important. The point is like the one you're talking about, it's real, you think it's your responsibility or it's not. Right? We think too much people listen to every single one. I don't think so. It's all message you want to hear. They, they, they can feel your message. Communication is not just talk. Communication a lot of times is your the way how you behave, how you show it, they can feel that, right? Uh, so, so again, I will ask, and that's what we try to practice. I will ask more focus on that. More focus on that. Don't worry too much about, well, do I miss this English? Do I, I, I don't think that's important. It's what the message. Then we got your message. And this message is usually much bigger than what you think. Okay, Sim. Uh, so the background of the what I will play is uh, I want to promote a nonprofit organization I'm helping for. So it's, uh, today I uh, come with a friend, uh, uh, Yang Zhou Liu, and uh, come to a company, uh, 
facing the HR manager or the marketing manager. So I, I'm not talking to the whole group, so I'm more uh, talking to one or two people. I will assume I talk to Jean, so I'm not you know, really looking at everyone. So that's the background. So thank you, uh, Jean, uh, for giving me three minutes to introduce a great nonprofit organization to you. I volunteer some of my time in uh, Chinese Institute of Engineer from 10 years ago. Uh, this is a unique uh, uh, nonprofit organization uh, because it's founded uh, in 1970. It's almost 100 years ago. And uh, uh, because the, it's a long life of this organization, uh, it's not only witness the history, but it also be part of that. Um, CIE, you know, Chinese Institute of Engineers, uh, have been uh, uh, influenced the implement of a reform and the open policy of China by initial uh, by annual conference from 1993. Uh, it's a, a senior American technology and uh, engineer uh, uh, conference. It's a host uh, in Beijing every two years. Uh, Zhang Zemin has have been uh, made the representative in 1996, and uh, uh, the premier, uh, the vice premier, uh, Ma Kai, uh, have joined the meeting in May uh, this year. There's another equal important uh, seminar named as a modern. Uh, engineer of technology uh, host uh, in Taipei every other year, beginning from uh, 1966. So it's, it's very uh, important one, also influence uh, the economic takeoff in Taiwan. Uh, Zhang Kai-she and many other government leaders have been joined the conference, and the next meeting will be in October this year. So I think it's quite unique uh, that a Chinese uh, non-profit organization can work with uh, the government in both uh, in Taiwan and China equally and, uh, and uh, uh, independent. I think one of the reasons because uh, you know, CI is old enough and they uh, have a good, uh, great goal uh, want to uh, promote the uh, technology and uh, bring as a bridge uh, between U.S. and uh, the people in Great China area. Uh, CIE is not, you know, CIE is still an uh, organization operate in U United States. So it's not only uh, try to influence uh, people in China. It's uh, have uh, host many events locally here. Uh, try to promote uh, the image of a uh, Chinese American living here. Uh, we have an event and uh, ho uh, create a war to promote people to uh, make a great impact or contribution uh, to industry or the local community. And uh, uh, from 2002, uh, we have a nationwide event uh, named as uh, uh, HR American of uh, Engineer of the Year Award that is hosted by uh, seven chapter, you know, uh, of the CIE around the U.S. And uh, we are not only promote the uh, uh, Chinese, but we also promote the uh, Asian American the great engineers. So I want to, I have more story can tell you, but I want to stop here. Uh, we CIE as a Organization have a very long history, have a great uh, big uh, uh, talent pool. Uh, we uh, have an uh, influence and also good connection with uh, Taiwan and China government. Uh, we are uh, you know, try to promote the uh, image of uh, Chinese and try to as become a bridge between the people in uh, you know uh, in Great China area and also people living here. So I would like to discuss with you that if we can uh, have some 
uh, cooperation and or or get some help a sponsor from your uh, company and for our uh, future event. Thank you. Thank you. Come in. So you must be practiced quite a bit. So CIE. Uh, I was just. Uh, do you, anybody want to come in? I see the interaction is too long. Right, right, right. No, I agree. I think it got watched it, but sometimes we think we need to talk a lot. Uh, <coughs> we don't need it. People got it. People got it. The yeah, introduction is too long. Usually our speech is longer than what I know in all the Chinese. Our speech is longer than what it should be. You know, they say this, right? Speech is like uh, girls show skirt. <laughs> Sometimes you show them a bit. But overall message actually is very good. But it's just another issue. Yeah, I think I agree. Maybe a little bit message. Any other comment? I or actually talk? know that I should find out what I uh, asking for and yeah. ask that first. But the, also um, in the morning when I prepare this, I think it's the first meeting, so I, I'm thinking the one to tell some background. But uh, anyway, I think it's maybe a, I would think differently. Uh, think differently because you, if you are the leader, you should not think about like engineer. Okay, I think that's a lot of time because all background is engineer. I know it's difficult. I have some problem. Like we all have some problem. But then you look at the leader behaving like a leader, something they don't need to know, right? Uh, you know, connect to China, Taiwan, everybody know. Maybe, right? So, but again, I think message is very good. You need that, indeed, you want to reinforce this message. Otherwise, people will get into the detail about this. Uh, why, why I'm trying to lay out is go back to, to our map. Because otherwise, you will lead the people to listen to what you try to say. That, right? But then, it, 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 that's not perfect one or you know, right one. It's just you got to go to practice. And, and then, you know, get the people input and continue doing this. And then you will gather it because later on the audience will respond to what you say. And I think you will gather this one. No, very good. Uh, who else?